Hello guys. Welcome to Sinha YouTube. In this video we will learn SQL Server Databases Indexes Interview Questions. If you have not subscribed my channel till now, please subscribe and share video. Comment if you have any suggestion. Let's start. Question. What is a clustered index? Answer. Clustered index stores a key value in the same data or row page. It is attached with data rows. Clustered indexes sort and store the data rows in the table or view based on their key values. For example, each and every book has attached one page number on each page, so this called clustered index of that book. Question. How many clustered indexes there can be in one table? Answer. You can create only one clustered index. Question. What is a non-clustered index? Answer. Non-clustered indexes have a structure separate from the data rows. A non-clustered index contains the non-clustered index key values and each key value entry has a pointer to the data row that contains the key value. The pointer from an index row in a non-clustered index to a data row is called a row locator. The structure of the row locator depends on whether the data pages are stored in a heap or a cluster table. For a heap, a row locator is a pointer to the row. For a cluster table, the row locator is a clustered index key. Dot. You can add non-key columns to the leaf level of the non-clustered index to bypass existing index key limits, 900 bytes and 16 key columns, and execute fully covered, indexed queries. Question. Can you make non-clustered indexes as unique index? Answer. Yes, you can create unique non-clustered index in which no two rows can have the same value for the index key. Question. What is a hash index? Answer. With a hash index, data is accessed through an in-memory hash table. Hash indexes consume a fixed amount of memory which is a function of the bucket count. Hash indexes are used is because hash tables are extremely efficient when it comes to just looking up values. So, queries that compare for equality to a string can retrieve values very fast if they use a hash index. Question. What is the main disadvantage of the hash index? Answer. Hash tables are not sorted data structures and there are many types of queries which hash indexes cannot even help with. For instance, suppose you want to find out all of the employees who are less than 40 years old. How could you do that with a hash table index? Well, it's not possible because a hash table is only good for looking up key value pairs, which means queries that check for equality condition. Question. What is a unique index? Answer. A unique index ensures that the index key contains no duplicate values and therefore every row in the table or view is in some way unique. Uniqueness can be a property of both clustered and non-clustered indexes. Question. Why clustered index is a special index in the SQL server? Answer. The clustered index in any table has special uses and significance. This index is the data itself and it will be used in every non-clustered index in the table. If you are defining a new clustered index or changing a clustered index, SQL Server will need to do I.O. on every non-clustered index on the table as well. PSQL script to create a clustered index. Create clustered index index underscore name on schema dot table name column. PSQL script to create a non-clustered index. Create non-clustered index index underscore name on schema dot table name column. PSQL script to create a non-clustered index with covered non-key columns. Create non-clustered index index underscore name on schema dot table name column include column A, column B. Question. What is a filtered index? Answer. An optimized non-clustered index especially suited to cover queries that select from a well-defined subset of data. It uses a filter predicate to index a portion of rows in the table. 
A well-designed filtered index can improve query performance, reduce index maintenance costs, and reduce index storage costs compared with filtable indexes. Question. What is a full text index? Answer. A special type of token-based functional index that is built and maintained by the Microsoft Full Text Engine for SQL Server. It provides efficient support for sophisticated word searches in character string data. Question. What is a spatial index? Answer. A spatial index provides the ability to perform certain operations more efficiently on spatial objects, spatial data, in a column of the geometry data type. The spatial index reduces the number of objects on which relatively costly spatial operations need to be applied. Question. How to know unused indexes in a table? Answer. By using ADMV, we will find the unused indexes details. We have a DMV called sys.dm underscore db underscore index underscore usage underscore stats, which retrieves the statistics of indexes. If an index ID is not in that DMV, then we can say that index is not been using from a long time. Question. What are covering indexes and covered queries in SQL Server? Answer. If all the columns requested in the select list of query are available in the index, then the query engine doesn't have to look up the table again, which can significantly increase the performance of the query. Since all the requested columns are available within the index, the index is covering the query. So, the query is called a covering query and the index is a covering index. A clustered index can always cover a query if the columns in the select list are from the same table. Question. How indexes are used by the query optimizer? Answer. Well-designed indexes can reduce disk I.O. operations and consume fewer system resources therefore improving query performance. Indexes can be helpful for a variety of queries that contain select, update, delete or merge statements. When the query optimizer uses an index, it searches the index key columns, finds the storage location of the rows needed by the query and extracts the matching rows from that location. Generally, searching the index is much faster than searching the table because unlike a table, an index frequently contains very few columns per row and the rows are in sorted order. Question. What are the primary differences between an index reorganization and an index rebuild? Answer. Reorganization is an online operation by default. A rebuild is an offline operation by default. Reorganization only affects the leaf level of an index. Reorganization swaps data pages in place by using only the pages already allocated to the index. A rebuild uses new pages allocations. Reorganization is always a fully logged operation. A rebuild can be a minimally logged operation. Reorganization can be stopped mid-process and all completed work is retained. A rebuild is transactional and must be completed in entirety to keep changes. Question. If you need to rebuild a non-clustered index that is 10 GB in size and have 5 GB of free data file space available with no room to grow the data files, how can you accomplish the task? Answer. When rebuilding an existing non-clustered index, you typically require free space that is approximately equivalent to 2.2 times the size of the existing index, since during a rebuild operation, the existing index is kept until the rebuilt structure is complete and an additional approximately 20% free space for temporary sorting structures used during the rebuild operation. In this case, you would require at least an additional 10 plus GB of free space for the rebuild operation to succeed, since the index itself is 10 GB in size, using short underscore and underscore temp DB would not suffice in this case, since only the temporary sort tables are stored in temp DB in this case and at least 10 GB of free space would still be required in the database data files. Question. What is the covering index? Answer. 
If you know that your application will be performing the same query over and over on the same table, consider creating a covering index on the table. A covering index, which is a form of a composite non-clustered index, includes all of the columns referenced in select, join, and where clauses of a query. Because of this, the index contains the data you are looking for and SQL Server doesn't have to look up the actual data in the table, reducing logical and or physical input-output, and boosting performance. On the other hand, if the covering index gets too big, has too many columns, this could actually increase input-output and degrade performance. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel and share video, comment if you like. In next video we'll post more databases, indexes, related questions.